been dealing with some nice weather here in the valley, but that is not exactly the case for the Sierra. Rain hit the higher elevations today and spotty showers are expected throughout the weekend and into next week. Fox 40's Eric Rucker joining us now live along I-80 with a preview of what those heading up the hill can possibly expect for the Memorial Day weekend, Rucker. Absolutely, Nikki. And when it comes to that rain, thunderstorms also a possibility, not only for this upcoming weekend, but on into next week with that rain as well. So the best advice that we can give you is if you are planning to come up the hill, prepare like it's, I don't know, I'd say early March versus what it actually is in late May. Late Thursday in the Sierra. Rain hitting our windshield and soaking I-80. Signs warning drivers to slow down. This truck, one of a couple that we saw, went off the interstate and into a ditch. If the wetness wasn't coming from the sky, it was running down hillsides thanks to ongoing snowmelt. The South Yuba River flowing with ferocity not seen in years. Really beautiful. I'm not joking. William Hunter stopped off in the Eagle Lakes area with his family to take it all in, figuratively. Come and record, take pictures. Just don't enter it, because I I want to say it would be fun to enter, but judging by the how it goes, the currents are too strong for you. Like you're not going to survive it. Those looking to camp this holiday weekend will not be allowed in some popular spots. Indian Springs campground is closed until mid June. A little further east, where the snow remains on the ground, Hampshire Rocks Campground won't be open until the end of June. And while the gloomy weather might ruin some outdoor activities if you come up to the Sierra this weekend, there is one thing to do outdoors that is, well, basically suited for the winter type weather that we're looking at right now. While a lot of people would like to go down to the lake and have some fun down there, this is definitely an option. Janet Tunnel owns Donner Ski Ranch in the Soda Springs area. They've been open on weekends for the past month, but even with cooler temps, there is no guarantee that the fun on the slopes continues here beyond the next few days. None of us can complain about it because it has been a phenomenal season. Um, even though we had so many days that we had to be closed because all the highways were closed, 80 has been closed. Um, even with that, it's been a tremendous season. And we talked about those multiple accidents that we saw, including the one that we gave you a little bit of video of. We saw people flying up and down I-80 today. And of course, those wet roads will be wet through the weekend and next week, depending on when these showers come and go each day. So please be safe. We're in Colfax right now covering local news that matters. I'm Eric Runker, Fox 40 News.